Hey guys, welcome back to the Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter board game review. Today's game of Hip Hop is called Cock Block by Kevin's Got a Game. It's for two to four players, about uh, 15 minutes of play, ages 13 and up. In the game Cock Block, you're gonna be playing as a chicken, any one of these different four types. And your objective is to go into the barn and find some uh, hot chicks. When you go into the barn, you're going to be trying to do a race mechanic game, which you're going to be drawing different cards from there. You see these guys here? And you're going to be trying to play them. Now, based on the type of chicken you are, is how you're going to be playing the cards and how beneficial they are going to be for you. As well as if you acquire other little chicken cards, you're going to be able to use those in addition as upgrades to increase the ability of your hand. Now, you don't want to get the same type. You want to get a different type of chick from the card you are. But your objective is nonetheless trying to get there and get back. Uh, other players are going to be able to try and stop you by playing different cards like the uh, spilled drink cards and the megaphone and the loud cards and they're gonna try and stop you from doing that all with at the same time as them trying to get their chicken out of the barn first as well. well that's the idea of how to play the game cockblock let's go ahead and take a look at it what do you think all right guys so here we have the contents for cockblock and in the game you're going to be getting your booklet how to play the game rules as well as a little bag of seeds where you're going to put all your different tokens you got your game box as well as your characters you can you can choose from they all have their own unique different uh, aspects to them as well as the chickettes that are going to be uh, in the barn at the very end of the barn you're going to set them over here got your little characters here which you're actually going to be coming in a uh, uh, different like uh, rooster meeples you'll be getting in the game you got your fight dice which you can use or depending on the different variants you can use your cards instead as well as the big stack of cards here which is going to have a big plethora of different things you'll be using throughout the game but with all of this it goes in this little tiny box that makes up the game cock block Okay, so in the game, you're going to start off with this board here, and you're going to, depending on the number of players you're going to have, you're going to put your characters down here. They're going to be walking into the barn, trying to get past the friend zone where all the chicks are located. Each of your characters is going to have their own unique stat. This one here has this little disco ball, right? He's a cool cat or a cool chicken. And whenever he plays certain cards from his hand, he's going to be able to move with those cards. You can play a pair of cards that match that aren't of your symbol type to move one, or if you have a card that actually matches your symbol type, which let me see if I can find one here somewhere. Oh, let's just say if it was, let's say if I was this guy here, the strength one right here, I could play this guy right here, and that would let me move one just by the singular card, which would let me move across this board here. And I'm trying to get to these chicks, and I'm trying to get out. One chick is all I need. And I want to get different ones because when you pair with a chick that is different than the one you have, like this one here, if I had the uh, strength guy and I had the girl with the little uh, cool cat, uh, little strobe light, you could, I could use either of these two cards to move uh, one, as opposed to having a pair of them to move one. It's just a little easier to get around. But your opponents are going to be playing different pieces here, like these little uh, blocking tokens. This one here is a megaphone. You got the spilled drink. And then you've got a little chicken, little little uh, figurine here. But you put them down the board here. And so when you're trying to go across, these are blocking your way. There are cards that can get rid of that, as well as uh, when somebody lands in your space, you roll these die, and you can fight them, as well as cards in your hand. Nevertheless, you get up in there, you get your chick, and then you get out as fast as you can before somebody tries to stop you. That's the game. Let me show you how it's played. Okay, so I went ahead and set up a four-player game of Cock Block. You got all the different characters here with their own unique little meeples and all the chicks at the very end of the barn here. You got your fight dice over here, and then you've got all your different uh, blockers over here. And remember, there's a space outside here, which is where you need to go into the barn and then out of the barn to win the game. Everybody's going to get seven cards in their hand to start the game with. That's just a normal aspect of the game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and two, four, five, six, seven. That, after that, you're going to choose a starting player. Remember, every single character has a special bonus card they're going to be using. Or a bonus they're going to be using for the other cards. So, in this guy, if he happened to have this card in his hand, he only needs to play this one card to move up one. You get two actions on your turn. So, if he starts, his first action could be playing one of these guys here. And that would move him one. That would cost him one card. However, if he wanted to play this guy's card here, well, because he doesn't have a match, he has to have a pair of these to get his plus one movement. So if he had a pair of these guys here, he could discard them, and that would let him move up one. Those are the basic action when it comes to movement. It has all four different types there. You've also got a wild card called That's My Ride. It'll be used whenever, like you say, this guy happens to have this guy's card, but he needs another card. He doesn't have this, but he has a wild. He could use that to move up one. Uh, you've got cards like the Rumor that are going to make your opponents move back two spaces. You've got cards that are like called Slow Down. It's a status effect. It makes your uh, opponent's characters slow. But you've got cards like this, Recover Speed, lets you speed up. 
<laughs> Got Bread lets you move two spaces for one action. It's a pretty good card here. Two Drinks is a card for one that lets you move one up. And you've got a Tomahawk God. This card's a really, really powerful card. It's a legendary card. Any of these guys here, these are all the blocking card, blocking tokens here. When you play Tomahawk God, it will remove all of these off of the board, making it easier for you to go through. However, it also does help your allies. Uh, you're going to have the Al Access Legendary cards here. They do a plethora of different things. You've got stuff like Moment of Glory. You can play three actions on your turn instead of just one, or instead of just two. And then you've got all the different blocking actions, drink, spill, and whatnot. When you play one of these guys here, you can put one of these tokens anywhere you want on the board. As well as their counterparts, like the Wingman here, or the uh, the the, the kick out card. These will let you move those. So if you have this piece here and you played the kick out, you would simply be able to move that from, from here to here. So if you were here, your opponent played a, a blocking card, then you could simply play this card here and you'd move this over here. So it could block your other opponent and let you get through. That's what these guys here do and they have all the different types. I got the moves, the pair plus one, and so on and so forth. That's the basic idea of all the different cards in, this, in the deck. And you're going to start with seven. On your turn, you'll be able to play two actions, and as well, you can choose to discard. When you discard one, you get to draw a new one back up to seven. You're always going to have seven cards in your hand. But if you choose to use two actions to discard two cards, you could then discard another card for free, allowing you to draw up to three cards in your hand. So if you want to discard twice, that's going to give you that benefit of being able to draw additional cards on your turn. Whenever you land on a space that your opponent is, is currently inhabiting, if you move two and land on that, you're going to have a fight. And then there's two ways you can fight. You can simply roll these die and determine the difference between them. For instance, if you have something like this and like this, uh, that would show the difference between your opponent rolled this and you rolled this. You're going to need to do a, 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 a two damage to your opponent. So this would be one on this side. And there's a plethora of different ways that what works. But you, when you roll them, each of you guys roll a die. This will block a damage. This will do a damage that negates. And that's one way you use these die. Other way is you actually take cards from your hand. And based on the rule book in here, it'll tell you there's different rarities to the different cards in your hand. Let me see if I can find find it really quick. Oh, right. Where are you? Right at the very front? No? I don't know. Let me see where it is. Okay, so right here, this is where it tells you the rarity. Uh, the brown cards are worth one, all the way to the legendary cards, which are worth five here. You would simply uh, reveal the cards in your hand. Whoever had the most points would be able to win. Uh, and take the other person out, you would discard and draw that many cards up. And in which case, you would knock your opponent down to the ground and stand on top of them. And for their next turn, they can only choose to use the discard action. It's a way to get across, uh, beating your opponent that way. And so that's how it works, right? Once you get to one of these locations, you can choose the chick that you want to go on top of to take. And so you would simply put, you know, put your character like that. I don't know, maybe even just on the side if you want. And you'd move them together going down the board and you're trying to get back home. Once you can get out of the barn, you are the winner as long as nobody else can stop you. And remember, they can place blocking tokens outside the barn too to stop you from getting out. So you'll have to move around different ways. But if you're the first person out of the barn with your gal in hand, you are the winner of the game, Cockblock. So that is the idea of how to play the game Cockblock. Now also another thing to note, a little caveat on the board here, not only is there a space down here, but as you go up and come back, this actually has a wraparound board. If you're over here on this green spot and you move to the right, you will end up going to this blue spot. And same would be for any of the other spaces around. So as you're going across the board here, you can kind of try and juke your opponents and uh, avoid them and move away from the blocks and whatnot. And you can also, when playing the different block cards, you can put them anywhere on the board that you want to block off anybody, right? And maybe you want to make a great wall of China to stop somebody from getting all the chicks and you only want to get your get your gal and bring her back down the board so that would be one thing as well but anyway that is the basic idea of the game you're simply playing either a singular card if you have a match on your specific character or if you have your gal also that will give you a match as well or if you don't have a matching pair uh, sorry if you don't have this the type of card you need if you have a matching pair of a different type you can move one, one as well as all the different bonus cards trying to get up and get back down we're all being all, all by yourself. You can do that on your own. Not anybody else trying to stop you. You're the winner of the game. Let me tell you what I think about it. Okay, so what do I think about the game Cockblock by Kevin's Got a Game? Well, first thing I thought about the game was woo, title. Mm, you know, that's the first thing would probably come up with most people's heads is how risque is the game. And really, it's not that risque. It has a nice little interesting, like, kicker title, I suppose. But really, it's kind of a game where you've got the associated bar type jokes. We've got um, 
loud gals and jock guys and all that kind of stuff. And you've got, um, oh, I don't know. You got the, the big muscly dudes and then you got the, like the bro kind of people. And they're trying to go into the bar and they're trying to stop each other from all getting the girls. And uh, they're all kind of more of a detriment to themselves than they are to actually <laughs> the gals being a detriment to them. Which is kind of funny because they're kind of digging their own graves in the game. And you kind of feel that theme go through. But also does have that... Um, chicken kind of aspect as well because I actually have a lot of chickens and the way they work with their, their whole pecking and all that kind of stuff, the pecking order uh, which is associated with uh, chickens until one is the top chicken, right? And everybody else kind of bows out of the way. It has that feeling as well in the game. You're trying to get your objective achieved while everybody else is trying to stop you. So it has that take that nature, right? You're going to be playing cards, trying to screw over your opponents. You need a specific cards in your hand. It's nice that that discard aspect lets you have that ability to discard too you can get a free discard as well so you can draw that new hand of cards up it's very simplistic in nature in that when you're playing cards you know exactly how they're going to work and how, how they function uh, blocking your opponents is pretty simple you're going to simply do a race mechanic going up the board and down the board as best you can but that in comes lies the problem right that is where all your opponents are playing cards to try and stop you moving you backwards you know and you're always feeling like you're going to get to the end there and you're just right there and then next thing you know is you move two spaces back or now you're being blocked by a, a drink that you currently spilled because you were a little too clumsy on the dance floor and that kind of stuff so it has that little bar theme right and it has a little hen theme it's kind of a neat neat little um inner mixing of the two now are you going to like this if you're an extremely strategic gamer i don't know maybe 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 not i feel like the game is definitely on the lighter side it has that unique aspect of of strategy though which you're going to be trying to determine where you want to place certain things and how you want to move and what does your opponent have based on the cards you have in your hand or what cards have been discarded you're going to get an idea of whether or not they're going to be able to move through or not uh and there's two different ways to play, right? You got your hand, which you can uh, fight uh, with uh, when somebody's on top of you, when you're, when you're on top of the same space as another player, which is better, I think, because you can have an idea of what you have in your hand to determine if it's even worth going and fighting the player to compare to what they might have. So you have that little, like, in the bar, that scenario where it's like, well, I don't know, that guy's pretty big. I don't know if I should bother with him. And then you've got a guy with a bunch of cards in his hand. He's like, I can take him. And then he goes over there. And then, bam, you didn't realize that the little uh, <laughs> the little polo-wearing chicken over here has got a handful of legendaries and, and whoops you because he knows kung fu, right? Um, if you want to do more of the childish way, I guess, or the younger style adult way, you're going to be using the little die here, and each person's going to roll, and the winner is going to be victorious based on this little method. We tended to not use that. We like to use the card system instead. Um, otherwise, though, it's colorful. The art is really nice. I liked all the different little chickens and whatnot. I guess for me specifically, I do have a little bias when it comes to games like this because I do, I like chickens. I like the barnyard themes, and they're very fun. It reminds me of the style of Barnyard Roundup when it comes to, like, the theming put across. It is a little bit more on the adult level, but not really all that much. A very solid game, really enjoyable, provided you like a little bit of take that nature because it can be a little intense when it's going back and forth. And the more players, the better, provided you like mayhem. I definitely suggest you take out, uh, take a check out on Clock Block. It's currently on Kickstarter. Go ahead and check it out in the description below. All right, thanks for watching another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter card game review. If you like this game, go ahead and check out the rest of our videos here on YouTube. Like, subscribe, and comment. It all helps. As well as checking our website, unfilteredgamer.com. We've got tons of blog posts, Kickstarter lists, and giveaways. All going down that list, you can go find all the newest and latest Kickstarter games currently up this month. As well as checking out the game Cock Block. Yeah, is this an interesting little game here? Huh? <laughs> currently up on Kickstarter in the description below. You can also go ahead and check out our affiliate sites, everythingboardgames.com, the Giveaway Geek, and my buddy and pal, uh, Ferdinand, the Cardboard Stacker, also on YouTube. Go ahead and like and subscribe to his channel as well. I do appreciate it. All right, guys, well, that is all I got for this episode. And as always, guys, I look forward to... <laughs> See you next time.